I am Juan Workington, and this is my story. I was born in Nicaragua. From the time that I was born, I was diagnosed with a disease that caused me to lose my right arm at a very young age. So I was taken to this hospital in Managua. After the surgery, um, my aunt, she just, she just took off. She just left me there. So the uh, social workers took me to this Christian orphanage. Growing up in the orphanage, that was my family. 85 kids, they were my siblings, and uh, we just grew up together. There was always something going on, a soccer game going on, uh, or a baseball game. One day at the orphanage, we were told that we were going to receive presents. These presents were packed for us by some people that lived really, really far away. The part that excited me the most about the shoebox were, the, of course, the new toys, um, wrapping them from their new packages, and uh, getting my own toothbrush. That was great because, uh, yeah, sometimes we had to share our own toothbrush because we didn't have enough for all the kids. For some of those kids, I mean, some of the kids at the orphanage even, for some of them, that was their first gift ever. And like for them to open up this brand new toy, this, this little car or this little uh, box of crayons, in a way, I think a lot of those kids felt, yeah, there is someone out there that does care for me. At the distribution center, we were offered this book called The Greatest Gift of All. I remember, I think every one of the kids run, lined up to grab that book. It had a lot of colorful pictures and it was in our own language and it was really easy to read. And here was the book that explained the greatest gift of all, Jesus Christ. I became a Christian because of all the things that I had put together about Jesus. It didn't matter that he had taken my family away and that I had this disease because yet he, Jesus, had died in the cross for me. In the back of my head, I always wondered, what is it like having a family? What is it like to have a, a mom and dad or siblings? When I met the work in the family at the orphanage, it was, it was fun. I right away uh, clicked with uh, Ed, the dad of the family, and I just remember working with them and working with the rest. And I just, I had a good time using the tools that they were working with. Juan was the kid with one arm in the orphanage. He would show up very quickly when the day started, and he'd hang around, and just in case we needed something, and it seemed like we could communicate. Well, we had connected with Juan and made a bond, especially Ed had really made a bond with Juan. We really wanted to make a difference for someone, and the difference involved bringing them into our home and making them a part of us. That was something that we wanted to do, and of course, it was, it was about what God wanted us to do, really. When I arrived in Canada for the very first time, I was 13 years old, and I was overwhelmed at seeing all the things that there were in this country. You gotta think about what it's like for, for an orphan coming from a country like that. He had no framework for how to deal with people. He hadn't ever had to trust anybody. He was on his own. Uh, he had survived on his own. I definitely understand what a family looks like now. I, it's so cool like realizing that they love me, that they care for me, and that they can, I can always count on them. Juan Jose Workington, Sexsmith, Alberta. Some of the things that I really like to do and that I feel that I kind of have a good idea about would be working with kids. I like the fact of going to orphanages and helping out, hanging out with the kids and playing with them because I know that they do need love and I know that I can offer that. I've been in their spot before and I know what it's like having someone who can just take a little bit of time out there of their life and play with me or play with them. For me, packing up those shoe boxes, it means a lot to me. I know and I've seen those faces, how they reacted to those shoe boxes when they opened them. So for me, to pack those shoe boxes, boxes is extra special. I, 
I, as soon as I, I'm picking up something from the store, I can already picture what that kid is going to look like when he opens that new toy. I think everybody should do it. It's so great. Uh, we can, the more shoe boxes we have, the more joy we bring to the kids who do, don't receive a gift and don't have toys or don't have simple things that we think they're simple, but to them they're amazing. God has a plan. And yeah, he did have a plan. Yeah, I did lose my arm, but look, I gained a family. I do have a disease that will last for the rest of my life, but yet it doesn't matter because my body's gonna die one day anyways, and I am gonna have a new body in heaven.